working in an assembly where the performance is just slow? Well, it doesn't have to be that way. Let's take a look at some techniques that can help us work more efficiently in SOLIDWORKS. First, let's talk about what exactly is slow. Is it opening and saving? Let's take a look at some things that affect open and save times. I usually find that assemblies with slow open and save times are not local files. Are you saving to the network? Saving locally is like a direct flight, whereas saving to the network is a flight with three stops. I would much rather have a direct flight. One thing you can do as a test is to do a pack and go to your local machine and watch for improved speed and performance. Next, let's talk about hardware. We need to confirm if your hardware is approved for the version you're running. You can look at the SOLIDWORKS system requirements specs and also check the RX tool to see if your graphics card is approved and whether you need to update the driver. Most laptops have a secondary Intel HD graphics card that needs to be disabled in the BIOS. Next, let's talk about graphics settings. These are some things that you can adjust to improve rendering performance. You should check for image quality in the document properties of the assembly. For an assembly, there's no reason the slider needs to be in the red zone. Image quality increases the rendering detail, so while the image might look very crisp, it takes a lot of computing power to generate. I would normally set it to half or even a third. Make sure to select the checkbox for Apply to Reference Documents so that this change propagates throughout the assembly. Making this change will also significantly decrease the file size. In some instances, there's a single component bogging the entire assembly down. If there is one culprit causing your headaches, then the assembly visualization tool might help you find it. This tool will generate some stats on your assembly, and you can use it to sort your assembly by open time, rebuild time, and save times. So those are some troubleshooting techniques that we use kind of as a first pass. Now let's talk about best practices with your large assemblies. Other things that might be slowing you down are having numerous flexible subassemblies. Flexible subassemblies allow a range of movement, so that means the software has to calculate point A to point B and rebuild and recalculate every time that the subassembly is moved. Make sure you avoid fine details like textural patterns, grooves, cuts, anything that's not critical to the overall assembly. You can create configurations and suppress those details. These simplified configurations can be used at the top level assembly. This is also true for fasteners. You don't need to include the helical thread geometry for an assembly. Threads take a lot of time to render. You can simplify those by suppressing the thread detail. Now let's take a look at how we open the files. SOLIDWORKS provides us a few options before we even open the assembly. So let's take a look at what those mean. Most files by default are fully resolved, meaning all of the model data is loaded in memory when you open it. This includes metadata, sketches, and parametric values. For improved performance, we can open our assemblies in lightweight mode. Lightweight only loads partial data. For example, it loads the geometry, but omits most of the feature tree details. You can perform most tasks in lightweight mode, such as creating mates, section views, exploded views, collision detection, and more. Another technique you might have heard about is called speed pack. If you'd like to learn more on that, I'll provide a link at the end of this video. The last option in the open menu is large design review mode. Large design review mode is just graphical information. You can interrogate the design, but it's really intended for presentations not for editing. This is an effective method for really large assemblies. 
So the next time you're noticing slow performance, I hope you use some of these techniques I've shared today. This is Ami with Go Engineer. Thank you for watching.